So welcome back to the channel. App Pro or App A Pro. You know what? I'm going to say A Pro 13. <laughs> I was calling them something else. Uh, you can find, well, I can't even exactly tell you where to find these. This is a generic pair of AirPod 3s. Though it does have some twists and turns of how they actually are. Bluetooth 5.3. Surprisingly, these actually weren't bad. I, I can honestly say that I was actually proud to buy these for a whopping $20. But anyway, let me not spoil it. With that being said, let's hop right into this review. And we could talk about the A Pro 13s and how good they actually are and if they're worth purchasing at your local, uh, honestly. I can't even tell you exactly where to find it, but I'll give you a hint though. Now for me, I love buying alternative headphones. I liked my AirPod 3s when I purchased them, but realistically I did end up selling them only because uh, I do need the in-ear fit, especially since I ride a scooter and I wanna be able to block out a lot of the outside noise while I'm riding. But anywho, this is the headset right here. If you know anything about regular AirPod 3s, then you already know that this black little case right here, this black part, Actually, it's not there for AirPod 3s. It's fully white. Of course, this does double down as a little sensor that lets you know the battery life health of the headset. It'll let you know the battery health of the actual case itself, which I think is a really cool feature that a lot of other AirPod, AirPod, comp, AirPod companies, I said it wrong, would, uh, they should add this, to be honest. I think this would be a really cool feature, but this is Apple. We already know that we'll never get features like that. They're more so of a minimalist company that does, like I said, the basically bare minimum to keep you happy. You do have your USB-C, believe it or not, which is awesome. Um, even though it has the AirPod case, remember, it doesn't use the Apple charger, and which is a good thing. To be honest with you, you know, using an Apple charger isn't ideal all the time if you're using a non-Apple phone, and it does require you to carry extra cables. But if you're the average Android user, you have a Samsung device, one plus certain devices, as long as it's made after a certain year, you'll have USB-C, you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. We do have the instructions right here, which we will take a look at in a moment. So let's put this stuff to the side. But that's pretty much it. There's no rubber tips or anything like that because they're open ear design. And as soon as you pop the case open, as you can see, these are the earbuds. I think they look nice. To be a replica pair of AirPods, they're not bad. Like if you look at this, this is a, uh, I don't believe that's a speaker right there. I'm not too sure. Like, let me try to get close so you guys can see it. You know, with a lot of replicas, they tend to have like fake speakers on the sides. Like this feels like a real, this is a real speaker. Uh, they, they tend to have like fake stripes on the side of the headset to make it f look premium, but it's not. And you could tell with fake AirPods, but with these, they actually look very, I got a little hair right there, but they look very, very good. They even sound good, believe it or not, but we're not gonna jump the gun. We'll get to that section in a moment. It also still has the touch controls right here, just like the real AirPod 3s. And of course it says left and it says right. As you can see, when it pops into the case, um, this is sealed off right here, but I forget where the point of contact is for this headset. But as soon as you pop it inside the case, it'll basically go into its charging mode. As you can see, you drop the case, you're good to go. It will start charging right away. I like them, they're very good. Uh, I haven't tried an AirPod 3 case, which I was planning on to. I wanna hold on to these little things. They actually work very, very well. And believe it or not, like I said, they have pretty decent sound. I'm gonna pull out the left one so you guys can see that too. Just look at the craftsmanship and the design. And for this to be sold at $20, I can honestly say that, um, this replica is worth more than $20. Just, just from the usage that I had for it, it's definitely worth more than 20. But again, I got it from one of those side stores that sell like, it's like a dollar store um, where I live where they sell detergents and different things. And just behind the register, they happen to sell fake ear pods. And I said, you know what? When I saw this one, this was cheaper than all the others, but I saw the battery case on I said, that seems like an interesting feature. I think people would, I think the channel would like to see something like that where, you know, again, it's an alternative product. So if you happen to see something like this in the store, again, it's called the A-Pro 13. I can't speak for any other carrier, I mean, any other company that makes fake AirPods only for this one. 
So, you know, that's how it looks. Very simplistic, very nice, very sleek. It doesn't feel cheap. The hinge feels pretty good. It, it just feels like an all-around solid headset that you can't go wrong with if you're just looking for the bare bones basic. Now, if we're talking about the instructions, which I pulled out a moment ago, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, you're not going to be able to read. Well, actually, this side you can read. One side is in different languages, as you can see, different languages right here. English is right here, and it shows you how to actually use it. It tells you how to use Siri. A couple of the uh, instructions let you know what's going on, the bare bones basic. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you if this thing has a, a IP setting or I'm going to assume that it doesn't. It's possible that it does, but for a $20 product, if we're being completely honest, I would just say skip that aspect. You're not buying this to go outside in the rain. Though, with most headphones, even that don't have IP ratings, they tend to have uh, some type of water resistance. It's just that you don't know what it is. In addition to that, this does have hi-fi HD stereo sound. So the call quality, believe it or not, isn't bad, but we're going to do a little recording section so you can hear how it's going to be during uh, phone calls or any type of recording. It is Bluetooth version 5.3. And for those that are saying Bluetooth 5.3, I haven't heard of that. Yeah, it's out. It's been out for actually quite some time. I just guess some headsets decided not to incorporate it because of how new it is. I want to say it was over the last year or so, two years. I forget the exact time, but Bluetooth 5.3 is here. You are getting a four hour battery life with these. And uh, I want to say that the case lasts about I forget the exact battery life. Let me uh, double check if I had all that information. I believe the case lasts about 12 to 16 hours in the case. You get four in the actual headset because I had some other instructions that came with this. Unfortunately, I cannot find them because I've been just using these for a while and I must have misplaced those. But it does have a somewhat decent battery life. And what I mean by that is it's a $20 headset. Now, granted, you can go buy some J Labs and it'll give you a six, seven, eight hour battery life based on certain $20 headphones. But this is an alternative brand that still has the aesthetic that's pleasing to the eye for those that like the EarPod look, but don't want to pay the EarPod price. And I'll be honest with you again. I mean, obviously, in terms of sound, it doesn't necessarily compare to real EarPods, but it is what it is. But. Anywho, that's pretty much it for the specifications. There's not much more to say about this. I mean, outside of the box, it, basically, it says it has professional audio IC uh, to port HD voice calls. Uh, we're going to see about that. And of course, it said it has stereo sound, which um, it's pretty clear for the most part. At least when I was talking to people, they said it was pretty clear. It's a different when you hear it for the real time as a recording. So let's go ahead and show. I'm going to show you how to sync these bad boys. And then we're going to go and hop right into how it sounds. So with the syncing process with a lot of these headphones, I'm going to use this as a test video. There's two ways to sync. Well, there's more than two ways to sync a headset, especially if it's out of sync. But we're just talking about the regular generic way of syncing. Some headsets, you can just pop the case open. It'll go into pair mode and it allows you to sync. Others, you might be required to take the earbuds out of the case. So we're going to do it the first way, which is to leave it inside the case to see if it syncs. If for any reason that it doesn't, then what I'll end up doing is taking it out of the case to show you guys how to sync this headset. So right now, and it's searching, searching. Yep. A Pro 13 pops right up, which means these can stay inside the case and they'll be in pairing mode. So as soon as you tap that, you go ahead and accept it because I'm using a OnePlus device. I, I'll allow it to read my call log and stuff. I don't care and it is accepted now i believe oneplus has a section where if you hit the i button it allows you to information phone calls media contact sharing you have the option each android has different options once you sync a headset that allows you to uh give it more permissions i would say but it really depends on the not the carrier but the uh manufacturer of your phone so very simple process that's how you sync it you're good to go you don't have to worry about anything else. You just close the case. It goes right off. You open up the case. Give it a second. I believe it is going to connect. Let's see if it connects. All right. Looks like it didn't. Let me go ahead and take it out of the case. Nine times out of ten, that's how you do it. And it was just to open it up to do the same process. And I don't. Yep. There we go. Now it connected. So these don't have in-ear detection. Just as soon as you pop it out the case, give it a second it'll automatically sync 
and then we pop it back inside the case as you can see and close it disconnect that fast so with that being said let's go ahead and go to the section that you're actually waiting for which is the audio quality of calls and then music and then we'll wrap this up so this right here is the voice recorder section for those that are wondering what i'm using it's called uh basically a basic voice recorder for samsung devices and in order to get it into that mp4 format for videos uh basically all i did was record the voice and then screen record afterwards just the voice recording so that i could post it in a video format just made life a lot easier than having to um actually do a phone call so you can get an idea of how these headphones actually sound when you're using them for phone calls or just recordings in general uh, when you're having conversations with other people be it regular phone calls be it uh what is it called i keep forgetting zoom calls it just just anything that involves any type of audio and talking to people this is the voice that you're going to sound so if you're okay with this quality then you already know that the headset is good to go so the headphones are already in the ear Let's go over to file manager. All right, do some audio. What can I play for you guys in my ear? You can't hear it, of course. Okay. Let's get for it. All right. We turn it up real fast. Not bad. Okay. Like I said before, I've used these already. Um, <clears throat> what I will say about the headset right now is that if you're looking for bass in an open ear headset, it does exist in certain ones. Like the Anchor 3S has very good bass for an open headset. And it's, very, it's surprising that they had that much pack into it. Uh, these don't have bass. It has a little bit, enough where you can still enjoy the music quality. But if, if we're being completely honest here, um, if you're one of those people where you're trying to get fully immersed in your music, obviously open ear really isn't possible. You need more so closed ear like Beat Studios or something like that. Um, actually, it's funny. I actually got this a new pair for $90, brand new seal in the box. But anyway, back to this video. They're not bad. Now, when it comes to the quality of sound, when it was turned all the way up, the audio didn't strain. I know there's different codecs for music and things like that, but I'm not gonna speak in that manner because this is a video for the average person that's just looking for a particular headset that works. I like the music quality. Sounds fine. Uh, what I will say is that everything kind of overpowered the bass, even with songs that were really bass heavy. Uh, if you're listening to audio, like videos and, and podcasts and things like that, the sound quality, like the audio quality, the words might sound a little bit louder. And if you have it at louder speeds, higher volumes, I'm sorry, um, the audio from people's voices can be a little piercing and hurt your head at times. You know how sometimes you listen to something and it feels like if the audio check is bad on their end of the podcast or whatever it is, it feels like it's piercing your ears and you're like, Ugh, you got to take a step back or take your headphone out. Like, why is it? audio quality bad this does a better job at voices than it does at anything else so when i'm listening to music i listen to some creed and some other uh artists just you know someone that had a voice i listen to dashboard confessionals and the gorillas and a few people just doing a mixture of songs right and i noticed that the audio of the voices were substantially louder than the kicks than the bass than the uh drums it was just it just got overpowered now it didn't mean that i didn't enjoy the song still i did but it, you could definitely tell that um this is just a get to where you're going headset this is just a talk on the phone watch a podcast watch an informative video you can do what you want play a game and things like that but you're never going to get fully immersed in the experience when i play call of duty when you have a, a bass heavier headset or something that has rubber tips, you can hear the gunfire. Like you can hear it the way that the developer uh, wanted. We well, always hear the gunfire. Correction. Let me say that correctly. You can feel the gunfire. Like you feel the thump from every clip being shot, every bullet. Like like I, I'm not trying to um, 
no, I think this is a good comparison, actually. Like, like uh, you play Diablo and Mortal, you can hear the bass of the attack swinging, the talking, the background. Everything meshes very, very well with headphones that have rubber tips, the ear pod, like, like Anchor brands and things like that. But this one, it just feels like loud noise, like too much is happening. And sometimes the headset can't keep up with everything. So it sounds like background noise, kind of like if you ever heard a bunch of people talking at the same time and it sounds like and it, it's just too many people it's like it's it's not hard to different differentiate what's happening it's just that it's at the same octave so it it just can be overwhelming to the eardrums at times and it can actually hurt your head and cause more harm than good so with that being said i know it sounds like i just dogged these headphones out i didn't it's just that's how a lot of open ear designs are um, what I will say is there are better options like the Anchor 3S, like I talked about. That is a better option for open ear, but you're looking at $69 for the headset, sometimes on sale for $49 or $39. Really depends if you go to Best Buy or online. But again, this is $20. Bucks. So if you just happen to walk into like one of those side stores that sell these, uh, you know, um, Dominican stores, I don't know about them, but like the, uh, uh, the store that I went to is owned by a, a Muslim family. Uh, I forget what country they're from, but I don't want to just, you know, say what country they're from without I'm not too sure. I don't want to guess, but they're Arab. So a lot of times when you go to those Arab stores, you know, behind the counter, they have headphones or they have uh, mask and different things. I'm sure everyone that's been in these type of hoods, not hoods, but neighborhoods understand that. And um, so it's not a shot at anybody. <laughs> and you'll see like generic headphones or there's times where you'll go into a cell phone store that's not T-Mobile or something like a third party store and they sell, you know, cell phone cases and things. You might find the A-Pro 13 behind there. They may charge more than 20 bucks, but this particular store te- uh, sells it for 20. And I have to say, it's it's good. I like them. They sound very, very good. So um, lastly, let's talk about is it worth purchasing, which I kind of did. But I'll just dive a little bit deeper into that in the next section. And of course, there will be timestamps. So this is how these guys are going to look in the ear very simplistic this is how they look right here ear pods they fit just fit right in with no problem you're good to go actually did this have an ear detection let me take that out again no i didn't touch in the touch controls so yeah very simple um because they're open ear you can hear everything that's happening around you i don't have to talk super loud or anything like that they work great i can't complain they feel great they feel very lightweight feels very similar to airpod threes when i had them um, it's not much of a difference in terms of just the feel that that's the one thing they did get correct. So, uh, you know, now we have to talk about the music quality and see if it's, again, worthwhile, because a lot of us travel and um, trust me, there's a lot of alternative, terrible headphones. So let me stop delaying it. <laughs> Let's get into the next section. So, you know, just to put things in perspective with this particular headset. It is not a bad $20 headset at all. It's not. It sounds good. The uh, volume is fine. The audio quality isn't bad. It's not like it's the best in the world, but it's not bad audio quality at all. And for that $20 price tag, you get the aesthetic of looking like AirPods. You get the fresh case right here with the battery life on the outside. It'll also let you know when it's charging. I like it. I think it's really cool. I think it's an awesome concept what they did. And I think a lot more companies should, in fact, incorporate that in their headsets. It, it, even if it's gimmicky, it just shows. Well, I don't think this particular one is gimmicky because this battery meter to me is better than seeing you have three white dots on here. So you got to guess if it's 50 percent or 75 percent. It's like I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to guess. I just want to make sure that my product is charged and you can't get any more simplistic than that. It's telling me if it's charged or not. Um, like I say, audio is fine in both music and call quality. Fit feels great. You know, I did the section showing you how it how it looked in my ear. That I don't have anything negative to really say to this, except for um, a product like this, in my opinion, should actually be at a store like Best Buy. And I, I might say something a little controversial. I would switch this out for a lot of JVC products because they just seem to make just outdated trash in 2021 and 2022, and they're not that good. To be honest, at least the products that JVC releases to the store aren't that good. Maybe the products they make on their website are better. But, you know, it's just so many. It's so many different headphone companies out there that it's, it's just you just have too many options. Honestly, there's way 
too many options it's like androids there's just way too many options out there and instead we just ha should have a set well i'm not gonna say we should have a set amount of phones because that kind of gives people the monopoly to sell it for whatever they want hence why some samsung phones are twelve hundred dollars and some apple phones are thirteen hundred dollars or twelve hundred so with that being said it is worth it if you find it for twenty dollars i would say yes if you're looking for a gift for someone alternative a airpod and you don't want to spend the 169 for the regular airpod threes then yeah these aren't bad they'll last and if the person loses them, you don't have to feel bad about it because it's a whopping twenty dollars. Costs less than a regular Transpass, and the brotherly love of Philadelphia. So uh, that's the review. Like always, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one where we just talk more tech specs and uh, tech in general. Till then, be safe and take care.